Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for day two of the Game of Spines. Uh, all of you saw something very bitter and amazing happening yesterday. I don't think anybody in this room fell asleep. So the first order of business was always to not uh, keep uh, or uh, not let anybody fall asleep. So this Game of Spines day two now is the decisive day. We saw and we see here a picture of harmony and happiness, uh, but there was an amazingly bitter battle taking place. <laughs> the battle of the mountain versus Sandor. And I'll ask the two contestants, uh, Dr. David, the rock Sandor, to come up here. And I have to serve as a referee here. And uh, Jim Harrop, the dog. <laughs> I expect, uh, and we'll have to lay down the rules for this fight today, because I, I expect that this. Why, why don't you come over here? No, there's nothing physical. This is a battle of the wits. And again, Jim, it's not physical. Yeah. So battle, this, battle this of the wits is easy. So this is an amazingly uh, 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 momentous time. It's the, the house of uh, the Steelborn versus uh, the Eagles. And um, uh, this is a battle about the state of Appalachia, the kingdom of Appalachia, <laughs> with the eastern realm um, in Pittsburgh yeah, and the western realm. You see the war room uh, around uh, King Sir. Alexandria uh, on the we, right side. We can see Pittsburgh. Uh, so, so this is. Uh, there's also a very momentous person who's kind of been kept in check so far, King Kojo, who's kind of really been very neutral. So. <laughs> Um, we will have a number of opportunities to hear these two uh, um, uh, uh, Cleborns go after one another. But gentlemen, first of all, I want to give you a brief opportunity to state your claim to the title of the throne of Game of Spines here. Um, very briefly, like two sentences, three sentences. In Jim's case, that's impossible, so I have to turn the microphone off, Lee. <laughs> and uh, then we'll have a brief, kind of a just beginning of the day, survey of the feel of the land of the audience, of where they are weighing to right now. Because this will be an audience decision who will gain the uh, rule of the kingdom of Appalachia. So let's start with The Rock. Quad erat demonstrata. It is the thing that proves itself. Okay. And I would just ask you all, whom would you rather have surgery by? <laughs> Whoa, did I promise too much or what? Can I get in here? Yeah, you have a microphone. Okay. You have a microphone. Thank you. Well, if you have Dave do it, I'll be doing the revision anyways. <laughs> So, so first of all, Dave, I appreciate it. I'd like you, thank you for bringing your residents here because I just want to let you go on your land. There's already a mutiny. Because half of them came up to me and they said, do you, do you really think this should be done this way? Is Dave really that stupid? And I'm like going, okay. So the flocks are already coming. I have spies already in your kingdom. Uh, for the record, I think he's on a sentence number nine when, when Yen said two sentences. Okay, that, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was, that was uh, your strongest argument. So, so now, um, since you had the microphone, one question. So in Davis camp is kind of his really uh, significant uh, power player, and that is King Kojo. So do you have anybody as an ally that you can look around that you'd like to ask to serve as a adjutant, as a uh, ser serious backup? I know you I think, think that you don't need that. there's angry people here for Philadelphia. Who's the angriest person? I'll take I mean, Tyler. Tyler's a little angry. Tyler, would you serve as the Kojo second? Kojo had 22 tackles in, our, in, in, in the Steelers game last night against the Buccaneers. Like, who's going to mess with that dude? <laughs> okay, so we have King Kojo and... Uh, uh, so who did you select? Tyler. 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 Tyler, would you accept the honors? Would you be a second in command? Basically, you have to trash Dave, which is kind of just... Just, just watch him burn and self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, we'll ask the two uh, kind of second lieutenants to come up uh, uh, with the contestants, and we'll have a public vote as to who the winner of this final day, day two of this contest is. As we are right now... So I'm assuming that we can see that I won first day. No, no, this is where we're going right now. You can face the audience, and I'm going to ask the audience for where they're favoring uh, the balance of power to be after day one in this battle of Appalachia, east versus west. So the Steelborn, the House of Steelborn, who favors so far the House of Steelborn? Show of hands. Ooh. Ooh. All, all the Pittsburgh residents, I love you guys. And, <laughs> and who favors the Eagle Flight uh, family? 
No, no, wait. Eagles. Other way around, man. You're killing me. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, wait, wait. Steelborn. Sorry, sorry. Steelborn. 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 One more time. Steelborn. You remember? Steelborn. It, Steelborn. It, it, it's sort oh, of. I'll give you guys the analogy. The football. The football analogy is very good. Steelers, cutting edge, 1970. Like your surgical skill. The, the Eagles, the future. Okay. And the House of Eagle flight. Six Lombardies. One tiny little House Lombardi. House of Eagle flight. Uh, although we must, okay. we must also point out that we're fighting over, that, as we say in Pennsylvania, there's Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and Pennsylvania in between. <laughs> so. <laughs> Good one. So to be continued, there's a slight advantage right now. I would constitute for the House of Steelborn, but we'll see. Yeah. We have a couple of Vegas side bets also as this day goes on. So first of all, we have the famous Charlie Sanzer Know Your Fellows quiz going on. So this is a, an old game where we see how many times he kind of mixes up names just like what I did just with our two contestants. Uh, so that's a classic game. We also will invite you to the second annual, actually, San Juan <laughs> Spine Course in terms of how many X lifts can you do into the cervical spine, for instance. So uh, you'll see how to do a Porsche X lift and all sorts of cool things. It's great to have him Back. The question is how many, and there's an over-under bet on this, uh, pieces of Izel's chicken uh, will King uh, Kojo have later today. Uh, the, the baseline is four, but people say it's six or five, so we're not quite sure. Kojo, do you want to wager a, a bet as to what your capacity is today? Three. Three? There's an under bet, okay. So. Um, seriously, as we're going into the cadavers, this is where we want you to really practice your skills and we want you to challenge the faculty. We want you to not slip and slide and no plunging. Uh, we want you to identify the keys of anatomy, like in the anterior cervical spine, the oncovertebral joints, they should be smiling in front of you, and the key to the posterior thoracic lumbar spine, the pars interticularis. And you should really do this. You should also use these uh, cadavers, not just to put hardware in, but to actually dissect the things that you usually would not see, the vasculature and the nerves. So uh, really decompress and uh, do things as if you're in the OR, but then decompress them way beyond what you'd ever do so that you actually see the vertebral arteries and the nerves. So this was last year, and again, this year will be much better, and we'll have some fun doing it. And without much further ado, Isaac, come on up and tell us a little bit about um, uh, cervical spine stabilization and thinking about anterior versus posterior. Thank you. Thank you.